where 2017 was mostly about cases and pro-controller alternatives, 2018 brought a record-breaking number of accessories to Nintendo Switch. So much so that we haven't seen a number and variety like this before on any other system. From controllers and adapters, to chargers, power banks, docking stations, cases, and protective sleeves. Nevertheless, with the launch of Pokemon Let's Go and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, both Nintendo and third parties have truly accelerated the variety, but also the quality of the small extras that make your Switch experience so much more enjoyable. So do not get lost this holiday season, or later on in 2019 or even 2020. Together with Nintendo Cade, we have set up a list of accessories on the specific categories that you definitely should consider getting. Needless to say, we put lots of work into this video, so we would appreciate if you like it. During my stay in New York during the Smash launch, I visited Nintendo New York to pick up the special edition of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which comes with the game, a slick steelbook case, and most importantly, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Pro Controller. This controller is simply gorgeous. On the paper, it's just be a regular Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, but the design and finishing on this thing is a whole other level, putting it equal to the hard to get these days Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Pyra Edition Pro Controller. For one, it has the Smash Bros logo placed over the button portion of the controller. The emblem is not too small nor too big, just the perfect size to show other players that you are a true smasher. And we guess the white matte grip is there just to seal the deal for the Super Smash Bros Ultimate Pro Controller which is sold separately for $75 US dollars. And knowing Nintendo, you better hurry before it's sold out. Now over to a different controller option for those of you who prefer a wired Pro Controller while playing Smash. In that case, you have this Power A controller with a beautiful Breath of the Wild design that I gave to Conrad as a Christmas gift. It may not be as good as the official Pro Controller, but for the price of one Smash Pro Controller, you get two Power A Breath of the Wild wired controllers, a bottle of Sprite Cranberry, and a bag of Doritos. And if you're not into those memes and would rather have a good old classic for Super Smash Bros Ultimate and some other games, then you can't go wrong with our next accessory. The Nintendo Switch Super Smash Bros Ultimate GameCube Controller, this is the official reissued GameCube Controller by Nintendo. With the official Smash Bros logo in the middle, the classic button sizes and layout, and most importantly the analog L and R triggers. Sure this controller is primarily meant for Super Smash Bros Ultimate as it lacks an upper left shoulder button, but in return is only 30 US dollars and looks really good. With exception of the Smash logo, this controller is nearly identical to the one from Super Smash Bros for the Wii U as both require the Wii U or Switch GameCube control adapters in order to be used. If you don't have neither of these, then that another 20 US dollars bring the total price of this bundle to 50 US dollars. If you don't want to spend 50 US dollars for a controller and adapter and don't play matches with four official Nintendo game controls, then there are definitely better options out there, both wired and wireless. One of them is the PDP Switch Wired Breath of the Wild Edition GameCube controller. This controller is simply a marvel that blows Nintendo's own GameCube controller nearly out of the water. And no, we're not joking. This is turning into my new main Smash controller, as it has everything the Nintendo GameCube controller lacks. For one, a home button, which allows you to go into brightness settings or the eShop without the need of a Joy-Con or Pro controller next to you. Secondly, just like the Pro and Joy-Con controllers, it has a record button, a plus a minus button, but on top of that also a replaceable right C stick, an analog stick, and most importantly, big dual top shoulder buttons and solid digital triggers with much lower response time than Nintendo's. Yes, they may not be analog triggers, but with a 10 foot long USB cable and a price tag of $25, there isn't much to discuss here. If you don't have a GameCube controller adapter, then the PDP Switch Wired Zelda GameCube controller should be your first choice. Just look at that Breath of the Wild Hylian Shield. This thing is officially licensed, can be used for other titles than Smash, and is damn good. The only downside is that you can't play with it in undock tabletop mode. But what if you want wireless GameCube controller for Smash with the same benefits as the GameCube controller? Then there is one option left, the Gold Power A wireless GameCube controller, which is just like the official Nintendo controller, but wireless up to 30 hours battery life, two identical shoulder buttons, a home and capture button, and more importantly, being playable in tabletop mode thanks to Bluetooth technology. There are only a few drawbacks compared to Nintendo's and PDP's wired GameCube controllers namely the price of 50 US dollars and worse triggers than PDP's controller. 
but we all know wireless technology is not cheap as we've seen with the Switch Pro Controller. Other than these, you also have the wireless NES Nintendo Switch Online Bluetooth Controller, though this is one has obviously limited buttons and is obviously made for the Nintendo Switch Online Nintendo Entertainment System paid service. Now there is one more controller that Nintendo dropped early in November that for now is only usable in one Switch title, the Pokeball Plus which comes with an exclusive Mew in the one game it currently works with, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. A price tag of 50 US dollars might be scary for what can be considered a gimmick, but which other way are you to catch Pokemon with an actual Pokeball and that must have been the logic behind the Pokeball Plus which looks particularly nice in this accessory found in our second category. If you ever wanted to display your $50 Pokeball Plus and charge it as if it was in a Poke Center, then Hori hears your pleas with the $20 Hori Pokeball Plus Charge Stand. The concept is simple, you just mount the Pokeball on a piece of plastic, place it on the charge stand, and there you have a beautifully displayed Pokeball Plus. Though we will admit, this one is less practical and more visually pleasing within a Pokemon or general game room. If you are after something more practical, then you always have the Nintendo Switch adjustable charging stand made by Nintendo and sold for $20. This stand holds your Nintendo Switch in place and charges it without sacrificing the tabletop function, while also adding a way better grip than the built-in kickstand that is awful in all situations where you are on the move. Another consideration is to get a USB-C car charger, which you can plug straight into the adjustable charging stand, or when you lack power options, a decent power bank, as not all places have a place to plug in and charge. As we all know, the Nintendo Switch's battery life rarely goes over 3 hours and 30 minutes. So on day-long trips, you will need one of these bricks from Anchor, PowerCore, or this one from Ghoulie Kit for 39 bucks that you can mount on the back of your Switch. Since we are on the topic of Ghoulie Kit, they also have a great Bluetooth transmitter that is essential for all Bluetooth headphones and speakers out there when played in undocked mode. The line of their plug and USB transmitters begin at $40. Now over to some other adapters that are crucial in order to get the most out of your Super Smash Bros Ultimate experience. Ipido is a company that specializes in switch adapters, first with their wireless Bluetooth USB adapter that allows to use many different controllers including PS4 and Xbox controllers for the low price of 10 US dollars. Now they want to get in on the GameCube controller party and they do it with style with the 8BitDo G Bros. This wireless Bluetooth adapter costs 20 US dollars and I would love to demonstrate it to you but unfortunately it's still not been delivered to me so yeah. However, I can give you a few reasons for why I ordered it, namely the possibility of using a wired Nintendo GameCube controller or a Wii Classic controller nearly wireless through Bluetooth technology. And yes, no matter how wireless you can turn the Smash Bros experience, you will most likely still have to get an Ethernet LAN USB adapter like these from Ugreen or Hori to avoid causing lag yourself. Too bad these don't protect you from other players' awful Wi-Fi connection, causing them to lag. The Switch being a portable system makes it more prone to damages, like scratches and cracks. Luckily, there are a ton of options available to keep your Switch in top shape. For one, the screen is more vulnerable than you think, especially considering some docks tend to scratch it. A terrible design flaw indeed, but easily fixed with a screen protector. The type we recommend the most is this tempered glass kind from AM Film. Screen protectors are infamous for collecting bubbles, no matter how well you apply them. The tempered glass kind are less likely to create bubbles upon application. That and their resistance against scratches and fingerprints. And for only $10, you will get two of these screen protectors, along with an alcohol cleaning vibe and some hinge stickers. And then after you apply the screen protector successfully, then you're going to need something to carry your switch in, unless you want to be brave and try fitting it into your own pocket. I've tried it, they were not big enough. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Cases are probably the most popular Switch accessory sold, and you can buy some cheap generic brands from Amazon Basics and such, but why stop there? For 20 bucks, you could get this sleek Pikachu Deluxe Travel Case from PDP. On the surface, it doesn't look like much, but on the inside, there are 14 game cartridge slots, slots for Joy-Con wrist straps, and a pocket to hold earbuds, chargers, etc. However, we know that some of you desire the best protection for your Nintendo Switch while traveling. This is totally understandable, because if my Switch ever broke, I would be very sad. 
Luckily, there are two cases worth looking into for the utmost protection. For $33, there is the Mumba Carrying Case. Looks pretty durable, right? Thanks to its sturdy design, it's shock resistant, waterproof, and has those sleeves that you'd expect to want in a Switch case. You can fit 20 cartridges in this bad boy. And if that's not enough for you, then there is the Skull & Co. Grip Case, and this thing is a beast. Not only is it just a carrying case, but it also comes with a grip case for your Switch with, you guessed it, grips. You'll be able to fit all of this inside the carrying case, as well as 10 game card slots, and it has a built-in kickstand so you can play your Switch while charging it in tabletop mode. It may be $40, but it is well worth it for the frequent traveler. You know what the problem is with the standard Nintendo Switch dock? It's not very exciting. Fortunately, there are ways to spice this up. So to help celebrate the recent release of Pokemon Let's Go, there's this awesome light up dock shield for 20 bucks from PDP. Just prop up the dock, plug it into the USB slot, and watch the pretty colors light up. This particular shield comes with two palettes, one with Pikachu and one with a Pokeball. It looks great, but when will we get the Super Smash Bros. light up shield? But that's all for today. We listed all kinds of accessories, but not every single one available for the Nintendo Switch. So if you have a favorite accessory that wasn't mentioned in this video, then comment what it is down below. We'd also like to thank our very good friend Nintendo Cade for joining us in this video. Be sure to check out his channel, link in the description. If you liked this video, then be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and if you are new, subscribe and click that notification bell to know when we upload another video regarding the Nintendo Switch, more accessories for it, and other games on that platform. We'd also like to thank our patrons, including loyal producer Kenyatta Ali, for all their support on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash commonrealm to find out how you can join the ranks in exchange for some awesome perks. But in the meantime, girls and guys, this has been the Commonwealth Realm, and we will see you in the next one.